Oh. Uh oh, this is big. Oh, that's big. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode. Been a while since I've uploaded a video, and today I've come down to my Ponga Reservoir first thing in the morning. Overcast, beautiful conditions. I'm starting off with the lure that actually caught me, the PB Callop, here back in March. It's a micro minnow, it's the black top with the greenish looking yellowy bottom there. Got it rigged up on a Ned rig actually. First time using one of these. They don't have a bad looking hook on them either. I reckon when that's sitting in the water like so, so it'll be standing up like that on the paws, the fish will grab that from the top. That little uh, paddle tail flicking around in the water column there. And the hooks facing down as they suck the bait up into their mouths it should hook up quite successfully just have our first cast out there see how we go oh, i just want to catch a fish i haven't caught a fish in ages various reasons one i haven't been fishing two i've had lots of donuts it hasn't helped I'll make my way around to my traditional spot because there's actually potential now the water's risen a little bit in fact last year when it was starting to get lower and lower towards the end of the year or even january this year there was a section up there where i had a sunrise session and the water level was pretty much the same as it is now so it shouldn't be too bad. Starting off with the good old TD Black Combo. Itchy Twitchy in the 2000 size. Daiwa TD Black S. It's a 2000 and S. It's not the new model. I'm a bit upset about the new models. They've changed the, um, the bar arm on them. They've got that thin bar arm style like the Shimano's. I've never been a fan of them especially if you put them in the bag they get bent and your line becomes compromised and it's reeling when you're reeling the reel something must be going on there's bloody those white birds smashing the surface of the water over there so whether there's was a snag because I've just snagged up far out and gone at least I kept the leader that's one bonus well, funny enough I already had a uh, jig head with a uh, watermelon grub on it so I might as well just flip that around for a little bit it's not a Ned rig I just realised that they're probably more prone to snagging up as well with logs than that I would imagine that would be harder to, to bounce off What a quick fire that was. Not much of a fight, but it bang, just grabbed it. First red fin of the day. Oh, have a look at him. There we have it, finally on the board. Not the uh, species I was after. It's the first one, it's probably around 26 or 7 centimetres. Oh, finally got a fish on the board. Wow, <laughs> it's only taken six weeks. Of course, a trusty uh, watermelon grub opens up the account. It's the only one I've got, too. I've got black. I've got black ones in the uh, 
in the bag. So if I do lose this this watermelon one, I'll have to put a black one on. Oh, that was a good hit. Hell, that wasn't the that wasn't a red fin. Got him. Whoa! That's a callop. Yes, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, on the grub. Oh yes, open up the account. I haven't landed it yet though. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. You beauty. Yes, on the board with my first callop of the season. Well, there's not really a... Jeez, he's engulfed it. Hell, that's a good old pliers job, that one. Jeez, that needs some work on it. Hang on. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. First one of the uh, warm season. So, and that's got that uh, watermelon grub fair down the hatch there. Good old pliers job. Beautiful fish. Let's get a measure of that one. First one of the uh, the uh, warm season. Definitely need the pliers on that. Hopefully it's chilled there for a tick. Tape measure ready. While it's quiet, let's do that now. We're starting off the season. Don't know if you can see it. But it's not on the brag. I don't have a brag mat today. 44 and a half we'll go with. Be a bit generous. I could have gone 45, but 44 and a half. Reasonably fat. Opened up the account. Yes. All right, let's deal with this fish and I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, one last look at him because it might be the only one I get for the day. A beautiful callop, 44 and a half centimetres. Let's see you later. They make a hell of a mess when you let them go. Well, that wasn't the way you're supposed to be going. Man. <laughs> He's alright. There he goes. Yes! We're finally... Oh, it's been a while since I've caught a big fish. In fact, it's been a probably two months since I've caught a significant fish. So that's the first significant fish in quite a long time. Rightio. Well, they only took an hour and a half. What's the time? It's 10 to 9 in the morning. Normally I've had three or four, maybe even up to five fish on the board by now when I first start off this early in the morning anyhow well let's see if there's more out there let's work this section this is the part I had success here towards the end of last season now they're not really a season it's just warmer months you tend to catch more color or catch any really any red um, freshwater fish here it is quiet during the winter. Forgot to tuck a picky. Upload it on social media. Ah well, try and get a second. Gotcha. Oh geez, that's not a bad ready. That'd be nice. Toast. I might eat that one. Yeah, that's probably around that 28 centimetre mark. Another one for the bag. Well, last time I caught a red fin, so that means another 10 casts. Last time I caught a red fin, I was backed it up with the callops straight after. It's like they're running around in pairs. Let's see if there's a callop out there now. Got him! Oh, I lost him. Well, that's the first fish up. There must be a little squirrel in here. One more here, cast, and I'll move up a bit further. So I wouldn't mind trying this other spot. There's a spot around the corner where I got snapped off on the leader. Oh, 
hook something big and it snapped me off and there's a bit of structure around there I don't think it snapped me off on, on structure it was actually quite a reasonably sized fish so as we approach this area here I got snapped off here somewhere there is a lot of stumps in the water but it was a fish so I'm just going to give this area a bit of a well in the next 20 minutes or so because it glasses off a little bit yeah I've caught heaps of redfin in this section too gotcha straight away lost him I'm not leaving any stone unturned either. I'm not going to walk really a uh, massive distance today. Today I'm just going to go over towards where one of my favourite spots were last year. It's about a kilometre from the car park, maybe more or less, I'm not quite sure. But it's, um, <clears throat> you know, it's a good spot. It should be high enough now that I may even sneak a fish out of there. I'm going to work the uh, area all the way to that area every three meters I'm moving I'm not usually I walk 100 meters or even half a kilometer between each casting section and I'm going to try and cover everything this time being the opener bang then I've got a decent fish on here Oh, uh oh, this is big. Oh, that's big. That's huge. I'm not even kidding here. Uh oh. That's a PB, is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's possibly a PB. Oh, it's gone! No! That's a PB gone! Can I get it back quickly? Damn! Go back out there, see if I can catch it again. Bugger! That was massive! <laughs> that was a 50. It felt like a 50. Oh, no! Oh, at least we've seen it. At least we've seen it. I'm calling it, it was a 50 centimetre colour, we've seen it, um, that's probably better than not seeing the fish, because it could have been a cod and I wouldn't have known, that would have been even more heartbreaking, oh well, wow, that was heavy man, so I hooked a big fish here last week, I think it was last weekend, and yeah, bing ping, it was gone, oh, I reckon that's a snag, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! That was a decent sized redfin. We'll try that again. I thought it was a snag at first. Because I hit that twice in the same... That was big. <laughs> That's a decent ready. Wowzers. again wow I'm not having very good luck with hooking fish that looked like something else as well alrighty let's try again the reason why I haven't moved for the last 10 minutes is I'm just getting hit after hit after hit I just haven't really hooked anything yet for the last 10 minutes Got him. Well, there you go. I, I did say I've seen a big red fin. It's not, not PB, but it's uh, definitely in the 30 centimetre range. Might even get a quick measure just to get the odometer in. See what we're dealing with. And that's 28. So it's a, it's a 28 centimetre red fin 
people have been complaining about the size of them haven't been too big. But tell you what, that's not a bad size. Good for eating. There we have it. 28 centimetres of pure goodness. They do taste pretty well. Straight into my red, trusty red bag. Well, starting to get a bit of a tally happening now. So it's three red fin, one decent sized callop. I've lost one red fin or two and lost a massive callop. So it could have been a hectic session, but it hasn't turned out that way. Not to worry. The only thing that's come out of the bag. Jeez, I'll tell you what. <laughs> they don't stay in the bag. I've knocked it out three four and five times <laughs> that sorted it out well i just stopped here because i thought i saw a fin sticking out in the water unless it was a turtle could have been a turtle popping its head up or something There are turtles here because I've seen a dead one in one of those little cutouts. Poor thing. It's about the size of a dinner plate. Got him. I knew there was something swimming out there before. It's a small callop. It's not hooked very well either. And there we go. Number two. Yes. Now, I won't bother measuring it, but I will take a picture because I forgot to get a picture earlier. And um, that one's probably only around 35 centimetres. And there we have it. Yeah, or maybe 40, actually. Yeah, that'd be around 40 centimetres, actually, picking it up. <laughs> it's a lean one. It's not the fattest one going around. Oh shit, I'm nearly slipped in the water. What, what, you don't go that way, you silly bastard. I'm wet and I just pulled a driver muscle. <laughs> there we go. Off you go. You! Off it goes. Well, I wasn't expecting that. It's getting a bit later in the morning now. Ow! <laughs> I slipped in my driver. <laughs> Driving muscle. <laughs> oh. There you have it. And so I was making my way to the bag, and I was just thinking to myself, when I get to the bag, I'll swap lures. So that's probably what it was then. A fin was hanging out the water. As they're feeding along here still. I've just discovered another lure. Here we I've just found a soft plastic. Another one to add to my collection. I wonder what type that is. I didn't think white would be a good choice, but it's in my tackle bag now. I'll give that a shot another time. I might leave things there anyway. It's uh, windy, it's becoming a bit windy now, and the sun has come out. Well, it's good It's good to be back on the water here at my Ponga. It's risen a little bit. I mean, it's come up probably another 20 metres since I've come here last, but yeah, it's almost back up towards where it was in my last colour episode that's in my channel playlist. So the latest one in that list was about this height anyway, so... Things are looking up. Hopefully we get this wet October, November and fill it up even more and then we end up with a uh, decent morning session. So until next time, catch you in the next one.